In 2007, we had a bridge collapse, the I-35W bridge collapse. It's part of the findings from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA's report, noted that our emergency operations center was too small to hold a large-scale event. We have some real strong leadership in the city that uh, um, identified that we had a gap with emergency preparedness and what led to that uh, was some training where there was uh, some things that we needed to make some improvement but also with the bridge collapse and the Republican National Convention and uh, with those two scenarios we identified with the technology capability what are some of our gaps what are things that we need to improve on so I had talked to ABISPL and we brought them in as part of one of the vendors as far as our evaluation. We got involved in this particular project, the EOTF, about two years ago. They came to us and had some questions about design, equipment. They wanted it to be state-of-the-art. All the offices needed to come to one place and to monitor all the systems across the city. In my view, that this was an ideal case. Uh, we had a client that was highly engaged and highly knowledgeable and highly capable and highly motivated. It was a very close relationship. They were very responsive. I have to give a lot of credit to Jerry and the ABI SPL team because this is very complex. If you go into our telecom room with all your equipment, there's thousands of cables in there. And if you look at the, the Crestron unit or the capability to push information, to pull information, we have ShotSpotter, we have the safety cameras here in the city, we have all the police applications, we have mobile cameras, that we have citywide Wi-Fi with a vendor called USIW, where you move the camera anywhere in the city, we turn it on, boom, we can pull the visual up here. We are very much into, if you will, digitizing the city and then taking that enterprise information and managing it properly so that from across the various departments they can share necessary information to do whatever job they're looking for. Emergency management in particular at times may need information from whether it's police or fire, public works, and various other entities across the city. It's important to ensure that that information gets to the right person at the right time. I can explain a situation to you and it can take me 10 minutes. I can look at a picture and understand it almost instantaneously. And so the advantage of using video whenever we can means that we can get information to people a lot faster. What the center brings to the officers out on the street that are patrolling, it, it brings a, what I, I like to say is it's real-time assist. It's, it's, we're, we're assisting them in real time on things they're doing, things they're going to as they're happening. For example, we can see something happen uh, even faster than a police officer 50 feet away. And the reason is because we're up above it, we can zoom in, we can pan, we can tilt. Working with AVI, they have helped us to greatly expand our um, knowledge and what we want to do with our video technology here. Since January of this year, I've probably conducted about 6,000 hours of training in the facility from a larger classroom setting, smaller classroom setting, lecture style, two tables and, and a lot of technology plugged in from laptop use and wireless use to uh, hard data uh, wire use and everything has been absolutely positive. The technology in this building is amazing and we couldn't be more pleased with how it's used and what we can do with all of it. Our regional partners are very impressed by it. We host monthly meetings with our regional partners, so they're very much a part of it as well and love the technology and have been looking at different components to use in their own emergency operation facilities. Yeah, I, I think, you know, looking at our facility, it's, it's probably the state of the art across the nation and uh, I think we, this is the benchmark and uh, we want people to either meet it or exceed it.